We need to get seven. We want to get at least seventy thousand before Christmas. Seventy thousand on the trip. To Egypt. I will give you numbers for you. Get all your tribe, your church, your parish. Get all of that, and then when you're petitioning in public, get at least ten an hour. If you're going to petition for an hour and you're not getting ten an hour, you're probably wasting your time. Yeah, mail it to the address in Port St. Lucie. Well, mail them in as you get them. Every couple of weeks, mail all the batch in. Okay. Mail them in. So, also, find a Christian school that can get going on it. Let's have some friendly competition between the Christian schools. You know, um, the Ave Maria University students, they're convinced they're going to beat all the Baptists and Pentecostals in Florida at how pro-life they are. So I'm going to throw the gauntlet down to the Bible thumpers and say, Come on, what is that? You're going to just stand there thumping your Bible or are you going to obey it? So anyways, let's have some friendly competition between various people, groups and churches and whatnot to see who can get the most that way. Oh my, tea parties are a home run ball. Yes, yes, go to the tea parties. Go to the anti-tea parties. Go to any time where there's crowds of people. But the tea party especially, those are really good. In fact... Down in Mississippi, it's pro-life Christians that are heading up all the tea parties. So they have us come and speak at them. At the last one they had at the state capitol, um, they had the chairman of the Mississippi uh, Personhood Amendment, they had him get up and preach the gospel and call sinners to repentance and give an altar call. Come on! I'm for all of that. That was, that was great. So yeah, let's, let's go do it. Public libraries are wide open. They may get excited about it, but... The key is don't block the doors and don't harass anybody and don't argue with anybody. And that way you can say, well, ma'am, sir, Mr. Librarian, I'm doing a petition drive and this is public right of way and I do have the right to be here. And not only do I have that right, but I'm professionally doing this and I'm not arguing with people or insulting or even criticizing people that don't sign. I hold the door open for them. And so you're going to get not one legitimate complaint from my petitioning. And then they'll, they'll back down. And if not, give me a call and we'll get the attorneys on them and stuff. But busy public libraries are great. University libraries, those kinds of things are great. Don't spend your time arguing. Don't ever argue with people. It's counterproductive. It just strengthens them and their resolve to oppose you. And their mind is closed. If they want to talk to you, that's fine. If they want to discuss with you, fine. But if they just want to argue, just say, oh, and let them go. You're there to pick for the people. You're there to pick the low-hanging fruit to get the people to sign. The next person's coming. Say, pro-choice. Oh, you know what? Here you go. Then, then you get one of these. Can you have one of these flyers, please? And you give them some pro-life literature. Give them a gospel track. That'd be great. Yeah. So tell them about Jesus. If 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 I'm standing by the ticket booth at the ball game, or I'm standing at a busy spot where people are walking by, I'll say, oh, and they keep walking. If they stop and look at me and talk to me, then I'll talk to them. I'll say, you know, I'm pro-choice too. A woman does have a right to do her own body, but that's not her body being killed. And then we'll discuss and we'll get to talk about it. But if not, then they just say, then I say, oh, and there they go. Next, the next person's coming.